Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be back with you. Well, welcome to Saturday. It's Saturday night, and that means it's time for our Saturday night seance. Now, before we get into tonight's program, I have an important announcement. I have a new painting that is being released. This is my newest artwork, and uh, hopefully by tonight, if not tonight, early tomorrow, it should be up on my website at psychicbob.com. So go to psychicbob.com and you'll be able to get your free download copy of my latest painting. Uh, this is done on canvas with acrylics and with pastels. And it's called The Remains. Excuse me. The title is. <laughs> I can't talk to you. The title is All That Remains. So that's the title. All That Remains. It's an abstract expressionist piece. I was a little influenced by Miro and Basquiat and Cy Twombly. All of these modern influences are, are a factor in my work. But this is my unique and created painting called All That Remains. And it's done in acrylics on canvas with pastels as well. So I hope you like that. If you like that, want to get a free copy for your own collection, go to my website, psychicbob.com. Now you can download this, it's free. Um, you could know, download it and frame it, give it to a friend as a gift, that modern art lover, or for yourself. A lot of you have been writing me saying how much you enjoy my arts and that you're actually collecting it and keeping a, a scrapbook. Some of you said you framed them. Some of you said you have given them to people and they loved it. So if you enjoy a little bit of Sega Bob's art, there you go. The remain, all that remains. This is my first painting of 2020. So visit my website and get your copy today. Now for those of you who are members of the Order of the Purple Cord, you know that Lord Bob is also the keeper of the sacred chalice. And I have a number of beautiful chalices that I honor. This is one of my new silver pieces. Isn't this just beautiful? It's done in a uh, Greco-Roman style. In ancient Greece and ancient Rome, they used to do chalices, but they were shallow. The bowl part was not as deep as what we see in our modern chalice. But this one is done by Oneida Silver. And uh, I thought we would use this tonight in a scrying seance. Um, in the, the practices of Wicca, um, this chalice, or the cauldron as well, can be used for scrying. So we're going to use this. We're going to do a silver bowl scrying seance. Okay, normally we use a black bowl, but today we're going to use our chalice, which has a silver cup, silver bowl to it. So let us begin. Now we're going to add some water to our silver bowl. And uh, this is one of my antique silver pitchers. It's actually turned black. It's really old. It's probably about 100 years old. It's got Lord Pan engraved on it, but I can't show you now because it's filled with water. But uh, this is one of my magical tools, this pitcher. So we're going to just add some water to our scrying bowl. So let us do that now. I don't want to get this too full because it'll be hard to carry it and move it without spilling it. I think that looks pretty good. It's pretty nice and full and shiny. We'll set our picture over here. And um, now we want to just settle down. Actually, you know what? We should. We need to open the door through this new portal. So let's do that. So I've got my beautiful magic wand here. And uh, this is a beautiful one. It's made out of ebony wood, and it's done with uh, silver on it. It's got sterling silver, and there's a real garnet and a real quartz crystal ball at the end. And the other end has beautiful crystal and also another garnet. So I just, I love this. So we're going to use this wand. And what we're going to do is we're just going to just open the door with the pentacle blessing. And we'll say, here this pentacle I lay for blessing and protection by night by day. Let us see what we will see as I will. So mote it be. So mote it be. And so mote it be.
Now, you know what's really interesting is I'm used to scrying in a black scrying bowl. And to start with silver, it creates a very different feel. It's not bad. It's just it's very bright. It's very shining. And it brings kind of a whole different energy to the work. But like the, you know, working with the previous black scrying bowl that we've used, we want to just relax and let our gaze settle in to the shining light before us. You know, as I'm gazing into this, the thing is I'm starting to see the clouds swirling, similar to the black scrying bowl. But what's interesting is they're against a bright blue sky and there's a luminosity. So the energy is a little different, but it's still a fascinating experience. I just, I'm just watching clouds swirl right now. When you scry, sometimes just touching the vessel helps to build a stronger connection. And so I'm just here touching this. I can feel the energy. You know, we've definitely opened a portal here, which is it's just an amazing experience. When you're scrying, just let yourself relax and just go deep into this vision. Now what's really fascinating is um, I'm still seeing the clouds swirling, but it's showing me as they part there's a top of a mountain. This looks like Mount Olympus. I think this is the, the temple of the gods, the, the palace on Mount Olympus where, where the ancient gods resided. But I'm at a distance, so I, I want to see if I can just go closer to that. So fascinating. I can see the sky, there's the sun in the background and the sky is brilliant blue. And I can see this giant palace. It's like a Greco, like a Greco-Roman temple with columns down the front, brilliant white marble. It's just spectacular. It's really something. Wow, this is just, it's so beautiful. It's so majestic. I'm moving closer. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me just see if I can. This is really amazing. I can see light coming from like inside the temple. Like I'm seeing the like the, the portico with the columns and there's like this light coming out from the inside and I'm being drawn closer. I might actually get to go in the temple of Mount Olympus. Oh my God. Okay, I'm now walking up the steps. Oh my God, this temple is massive. Um, I've been to... to you know, Washington, D.C., and we have a lot of recreations of the Greek and Roman temples, but this is even more majestic than some of the most majestic buildings I've seen. You cannot just, I cannot describe it. Around the base of the columns, there are like bands of gold. Like, and I, I think this is like solid gold. The door is literally, I'm not kidding you, about 60 feet high. And it looks like a solid bronze. And I'm walking in. The door is literally opening by itself. My God, this is beautiful. I can smell incense. Oh, it's so beautiful in this temple. Oh, my God. Wow. As I'm walking into this temple, I'm trying to see through the clouds of incense. I'm seeing bright light. I think we're at the throne of Zeus. I can see. Oh my God, I see a man, but he's literally like 40 feet tall. And he's sitting on a giant throne. I don't think this is a statue. I think he's like alive. Wow. 
He's dressed in gold, like a like a gold kind of a toga type clothing. Long golden robe. And his skin is just golden. It's obviously glows like he's solid gold. And the rays that are coming from see this this temple is majestic it's it's beyond anything I can imagine I'm telling you it's just and and I think this is Zeus he, I don't think he's recognized me because he's looking like he's looking at somebody else but he has long silver white hair and a silver and a white beard this is very much like you know the classic images you see of Zeus? This is what he looks like. Hold on, somebody, somebody just tapped me. Somebody's talking to me. There's a young man here, and he's dressed in priest's clothes. He says, welcome to the temple of the great and mighty Zeus. Please approach his throne. You are welcome here. <gasps> Oh my God, his gaze, he's turning my way. I can see him looking at me. Hail, mighty Zeus. His voice is booming and thunderous, but loving. He says, come to me, my child. And I'm approaching the throne. Oh my God, the light is intense. Yes. He said, you are a child of mine. You are welcome here at this sacred temple. All of humanity is my children, not that not many, not many realize who I am. I am the loving father of all. You may call me Zeus, or Jupiter, or Father of Lights. I answer to all the names that are. Yes, he says to me, you may come to the sacred temple at any time, and you will be welcomed here. It is a place for you to remember who you are. Take this message to those who you know, that even those who are considered the outcasts are loved by me. I know of all the imperfections, but you have gone into the earth to master yourselves, to master your journeys. And so there is only learning no condemnation. People upon the earth fear me, thinking that I will hurl my lightning bolts at them. Do you know that my lightning bolt is for only to, to bring destruction to evil? My children are never evil. Give this message that I am the loving father of all, and I guide and see and protect nurture all who wish to be part of my life. And the young man who's a priest is approaching me. And he's asking me to walk over to the incense. There's a giant like pot. It's almost like my chalice. Um, it's got sand in it and coals that look like they're burning and there's another priest and he's holding out a bucket he says would you like to offer some to our lord zeus and i'm reaching it with some tongs they have like silver tongs and now i take a little incense and i'm sprinkling it it's kind of like resin chips or something i'm not sure what this is and it's rising, the smoke is, well, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And Zeus is smiling. He says, your offering is accepted. 
He's asking me, is there something that you wish of me? Any wish that you should like to ask for? I'm going to say to him, uh, Father Zeus, uh, grant me always your protection, your blessing. And if I might ask for you, for my YouTubers, many are struggling now. Some, like me, are being attacked by evil people. Will you grant your fatherly light and protection and help us all to be safe? He said, it is done. And looking behind me, there's, <laughs> there's like a line of people waiting. So I think I better step back. Thank you. I tell, thank you for receiving me. And he's, he's smiling. He said, any time you come here, I will receive you. And now this priest is guiding me. I'm stepping out from the throne. I'm back up to the door of the temple now. Now I'm turning and I'm back on the front of the temple and all I'm seeing are clouds. And the priest is with me says, walk down the steps and you will return to your world. And I'm walking down the steps. I'm back. Oh, God, that was intense. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Well, Tubies, I'm back. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, well, you know, if you, uh, you know, you want to experiment with different forms of connecting with the spirit world, you might try the silver bowl scrying method. I found that very fascinating. Um, you know, you, with each scrying device, you'll get a different feel of the energy, but they're all valid. And that was an amazing experience. I didn't expect I'd be going to Mount Olympus, but I could see it all so clearly. The images were opening and I was literally taken there. I could hear the sounds, smell the incense. It was very three-dimensional. So you might want to explore that. Anyways, just some thoughts. Well, I have so enjoyed being here with you this evening. I hope this has given you some inspiration and some insights to another way to mystically connect with the spirit world. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Sunday. We're going to have a live stream broadcast. So be here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's 7 Eastern in the U.S. and Canada. 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 5 Mountain, 4 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to broadcast live. We're going to do many psychic readings and hang out and have our Sunday night hangout. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Listen, uh, help me out, please. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We would love for you to be here. And, uh, you know, if you're calling for a private reading, uh, you know, please give me a, spare me a little bit because I've been getting a lot of calls. But I'd love the chance to read for you. Give me a call at 703-825-3929 if you want to get on my schedule. Uh, also, check out my books at my website at PsychicBob.com. I have wonderful mystical books that will help you on your journey. So you can go over there, read about my work as a psychic, book a reading, uh, buy a book, and work on your spiritual lives. You guys are the best. Also, just for a reminder, make sure to pop over to PsychicBob.com and get your free download of my new artwork called All That Remains. If you don't see it up, just check back a little while. It'll be up either later tonight or early tomorrow. But uh, you can get your free download copy of this painting, my latest painting. This is actually my first painting of 2020, so make sure to get it. All right, well, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for being part of our seance. I love all of you. Mm. Listen, if you didn't see yesterday's video, check that out as well. Um, we did a lesson on how to worship the goddess, how to do Wiccan offerings, and bring a little magic into your lives. So if you didn't see that, check that out. It's in the queue right before this one. You guys rock. We'll see you here tomorrow. Until then, may all of you always blessed be.